Welcome back to another episode of What About Dat? Promo recap and breakdown. We'll be going over Supergirl episode 220, The City of Lost Children. So, um, the promo. What'd you think? Thoughts? Um, I am very, very excited for this upcoming upcoming episode of Supergirl promo as we get closer towards the end of the season. All the storylines are starting to come together. We are chugging to a close, my friends. Yes. So in this next episode, it is the Jimmy-centric centric episode that people were talking about for a mm-hmm. while. And I am very excited. And based off the promo, what we saw was that it's going to feature some characters with telekinesis. And if you notice in the in the promo, you see a little boy with purple eyes side of his head he has like a metal piece of machinery and i believe that's like how he will eventually become controlled most likely by raya so that's my prediction on what is happening in the yeah no i i I liked it i thought that the one thing with supergirl promos what you see in the promo is probably not fully what you get it's always they want to put the not minor moment Mm -hmm. but you know tease you with enough and I think that's going to be great. Uh, the fact that we have a voiceover um, of Rhea saying, you know, you need these people to worship you. You need these people to do whatever. is really indicative of how Rhea sees herself. She goes, oh, look at looking down on them looks feels good, doesn't it? You know, and she's watching Kara from above. Kara. So she's doing exactly what Kara, or she thinks Kara's doing or whatever. So that's really interesting and very telling in that regard. Um, almost like she's putting her story onto Kara. Anyways... Um, I think this is going to be a fun, uh, let me rephrase it. I think this is, can go either way. This could either be a really fun Guardian episode where we all remember why we like Jimmy in the first place, or this can be another, uh, we're just going to give the Guardian a spinoff and this is a filler show. So this we is, are three episodes in. We don't need any fillers. That's a good question. Why now? Why the Jimmy episode now this far into the, the season? Why are we getting this heavy Jimmy storyline if it doesn't tie into how everything comes together. So it could be a spin-off, it could be a um it could be a by Jimmy, it could be like he ends mm-hmm. up getting killed. Although Adair and I don't think that's what's gonna happen, but it could. It it really could. It really well, could. Now that I think about it, the fact that I made a comment about this in our um review of two nineteen, but the only time we saw Jimmy there, or at least I saw him there, was for the Subaru commercial. So maybe he is gonna be leaving the show. Or saying bye bye. I don't know. I haven't seen any articles on it, but you just haven't seen him enough to make you think that he's getting the numbers to keep him around. So when he was already dwindling in popularity, then they were like, "Oh, let's give him a car," and then that faded away. And they were like, "Well, let's take him away for a little bit." And then Cat went away. They're like, "Well, let's make him the leader of Catco," and that still wasn't getting him numbers. And they're like, "Okay, you know what to do? It. Let's make him a superhero. Let's make him a guardian." And then that didn't really help either. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's like, well, let's give him win. You know, they well, keep trying to accessorize they, him. It's because they ch- they they changed him from being this male lead to this background character with bringing in Monel this season. Well, I think that... I just destroyed Jimmy. Well, I think that, you know, he might be on his way out. There, so this might be his last hurrah. Who knows? Um, I love, I will love to see him be caring to a child. I think that's going to be very lovely to see. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't wait to see the machine explanation of how it's going to control people. Because let's be honest, Ray will do that. Um, I think that we will see as far as like Sanvers is concerned. I don't think we'll see Sanvers because, you know, they might still be on like a little bit of a honeymoon kind of you're alive, you didn't die phase. So we might see Alex for a moment separately or we might see Maggie separately. But I don't think we're going to see them together. Um, right, we just had that heavy Sandverse episode, yeah. so we're, they might just be on a on, on a way week. <laughs> on a good day week, yeah. right? But so, we're definitely gonna see what the fuckery has been going on between Rhea, Lena, and there's gonna be some form of confrontation. Yeah, and because it's so heavy, there might be lightness. I'm really waiting for the dog buying it, like scene. I honestly think they're gonna do that. They're gonna bring that back, and I think, I think in something so, so heavy, they might actually do it mm-hmm. as a scene, like to kind of lighten things up. Who knows? I also think that this is the episode where Lena is going to find out Kara's Supergirl. This is my own prediction. Don't know if that's going to happen, but I feel like it is going to happen. I Just th- because I saw 
a still of the next episode, like an image that they released of Manal facing his mother with like a gun. So I think if like the evil plot, and then in the promo they show the Stargate machine. So you know that Lena had to have had a hand in building it. So it's like if, you know, she gets the Stargate machine, she's bringing people from other parts of space, Manal's threatening his mother, confrontation has happened, the reveal is that Rhea worked with Lena, the real reveal is that Lena now knows Monal is the son, and what we know is that she knows that that Monal character is an alien now who is dating Kara. I think it would just be really, really terrible dumbing down if she didn't figure it out in this next episode. Maggie figured it out. The guy from high school figured it out. Right. How could Lena not know? You the, know what I'm saying? The weekly villain figured it out. The weekly. The villain of the week figured it out. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that's, uh, it's going to be an interesting episode. I don't know if I'm wanting to have high hopes or low hopes. I'm kind of like very neutral on how I feel about it. Because, honestly, I think it can go either way. This can be either a really great moment for Jimmy and a way to, you know, kind of tie up the Monel, uh, you know, Rhea, Daxum storyline. Mm-hmm. Or it's going to bleed over to season three where it's just going to become super monotonous and we're all going to be like, boo. <laughs> you mm-hmm. know, I don't think they're going to continue with the Daxum thing for too much longer, like main focus in season three because it really is sucking down the ratings. So, Do you think that's it is though? Like how do you know that that storyline is... Affecting the ratings well, as much. Well, Terry Hatcher, everybody loves Terry Hatcher, so she's probably not doing any damage. But because the Daxum storyline is heavily surrounded by Monel, it doesn't seem that people are very interested in anybody's romance. I mean, everybody likes the romances, don't get me wrong. But there's too there was too much focus there mm-hmm. and too much on just Monel and not Monel, like we said, circling back to making Carr's character better. So it's just kind of like we don't want to see the Monel show, so I don't think that they're going to continue it being so heavy-handed in season three because that'll just lose people. Like, right. even people who are Carmel shippers don't want to see it. <laughs> like, don't want to see it this heavy-handed. It's just too much. It's taking too much time from Supergirl. So I think that the writers might step back and look and go, hmm, people weren't super thrilled about this. Let's not beat it with a dead, like a dead horse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I would... Anyway, so this episode looks, um, I, I, I'm really excited for all the action that's going to happen. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with Jimmy. It's either going to be hit or miss for me. Yep. That's it. I'm either going to be like, yes, or bye, Jimmy. That was good. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, that's what I think. Um, you guys, feel free to leave comments down below of what you thought of this promo, what your kind of predictions are, how you're feeling about Jimmy and, and, and Carmel and, and everybody. Like, Just let us know what you're thinking. What about that? So make sure you hit us up on Twitter. Our handle is wicked, uh, wicked. It's uh, what about <laughs> underscore dad. I was almost going to give you my <laughs> Twitter handle. Oh, well, I mean, you can find me if you feel like it. But I talk to you. Say hi. Um, have a good one, guys. We'll talk to you later. Good night. Bye.